Environmental flows describe a pattern of river flows that are required to maintain river health. They include periods in which the river completely ceases to flow to those periods where the rivers flow full and flush out to sea. These are very important and they're naturally occurring events and what we're trying to do with these environmental flows is to try to mimic what would have happened under natural conditions before the rivers were regulated. The environmental flows trial takes place at four points in the western Mount Lofty Ranges. Along the South Power River, flows commence at the Barossa Diversion Weir and flow to the old town of Gawler. On the Torrens River, the flows commence at two locations, one just downstream of Gummeraka Weir and the second point just downstream of Gorge Weir, where the flows traverse the Adelaide Plains and end up in the Torrens Lake. And the final re river reach is here on the Onkaparinga River where we're now and it, that begins just downstream of the Clarendon Weir and flows all the way down to Old Nolunga and into the Onkaparinga River estuary here. Here we are at the mouth of the Onkaparinga River at the beach and this is very important for freshwater fish because a lot of the freshwater fish that live in the Onkaparinga need to make it here to the sea to complete their life cycle. Environmental flows are really important in allowing those fish to get here to the beach, complete their spawning. The larvae then move out to the marine environment that you can see behind me. But then later on in the springtime, they need to move back up and get all the way into the freshwater reaches where they live as adults. During dry times, like the recent drought we've had, the Onkaparinga River without environmental flows dries up for a lot of the reach. Pools like this one behind me become incredibly important during those dry times because all of the fish and the invertebrates that need to live in the water, in fresh water, have to survive in pools like this so that they can respond once the drought's complete. One of the important fish species that live right here in this waterhole is the Congoli. They grow fairly large and used to support an important recreational fishery and were served up in fish and chip shops around the Adelaide area. Nowadays they don't fare so well, they require a lot more flows than what are coming down these rivers currently, but they're only found in these freshwater pools very close to the coast, and this area here is very important for protecting that particular species. To make sure that the environmental flows have the benefits to the native fauna that we expect them to have, monitoring programs will be undertaken to look at things like native fish, like vegetation on riverbanks and the invertebrates that live within the water channels and also the water quality. Areas like this will be monitored to make sure that fish are able to move upstream and downstream and build up big healthy populations. Also that flowing riffle areas are intact and that a lot of macro invertebrates can survive there and also that water quality is improved by flushing flows that stop the build up of stagnant water. Although the environmental flows trial has only been run for nine months, we've already seen some positive results. One of the most obvious things is the salinity gra gradient, which has changed. The river had originally always been a, a river that started up in the hills as fresh water and gradually became salty as it went to the sea. But in the last 20 years, it had changed so that it was a bit salty at the sea and very salty back up here, so it was back to front. And that's changed, and as a result of that change, we're getting all different types of plankton in the river that we weren't getting in the last three years of monitoring. One of the most exciting for me is the fact that we're starting to see desmids. You only really see those in fresh water, and you tend to see them in uh, low nutrient waters. They are like little green stained glass windows in the water and they're just so beautiful. They're the prettiest plankton I've ever seen. The fact that you only get them in clean water um, is interesting in itself because the other thing that we've noticed is that we're not seeing any ammonia in the water anymore. And for the last three years, it's been quite worrying levels of ammonia in the water and they've disappeared um, entirely since the environmental releases started. Ammonium in the water, which they would respond to, is also toxic for fish. So um, 
the fact that we're not getting any ammonium, the fact we're getting lots of lovely green desmids in the water, tells us that this is a much healthier river now for the fish. It's important that the environment get its fair share of water and that this be balanced against the human needs of water from our rivers. This will be carefully monitored to make sure that the water that is released for environmental flows optimises the benefits for the environment whilst making sure that water security is continued into the future 